Oh, welcome to my channel. This video will be a flip through of this book. It's Year of Witches by U Siku. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce correctly the name of the artist, but I will try to check. For me, it's the first book by this artist, by this author, created several books. When I decided that I needed, it was somewhere in the middle of November, so Halloween was over, but I decided that if it's year of witches, I can color it through the whole year. The second it's more suitable for Halloween. I decided to purchase it because at the moment I read books by Sarah Edison Allen. Two books, one is Sugar Queen, but it wasn't a very good book. And the second was called Garden Spell. And that Garden Spell book, it was good, so I was inspired by this book by about a little bit of good witches, so uh, somehow I make a connection between the book which I read and this book which I wanted to color. And also I was attracted to the size of the book, because it's a relatively small. And now, with all our limited amount of light available for free time and for coloring, I need something smaller to color. I will show you size comparing to the regular Creative Heaven book. You can see that it, it has much smaller height and it's slightly wider. But unfortunately it's one of the books where art is perfect, but paper is quite average. Cover is amazing. I do love this soft touch cover. They are similar to Selena Fennec and colors are really nice. It immediately helps you to decide about main colors, how you can color those two um, witches, two friends, which are main heroes. But inside we have this white paper, which unfortunately is thin. The good thing is that book is one-sided. So I hope that even if it won't be possible to use any water-based media, I will be able to use markers for the bigger areas and then to work with paper, uh, on this paper with pencils. Two soft paper looks quite good, so I think that all pencils will work here nicely, but maybe slightly harder pencils like Polychromosis or maybe Star Joy, which are capable to keep a thin, sharp, uh, thin, uh, sharp tip for a longer time, it will be more convenient to color those tiny details, because pictures, they are quite detailed. So, here we have those pictures, and here we have a story about two friends. I think that the look of the girls they, it's quite adorable. Simplified way of doing their faces, it also allows me not to think too much about shading and the size of them. I also think that it won't be a problem to color faces. I can experiment with craziest hair colors, because they are witches. And I think that we also have names of pictures, which I also always appreciate. It helps me to start about, like, story behind the page. Several are, are surrounded by frame, but several we can do frame by ourselves. Usually I am not a fan of college pages, but here they are uh, really good part of the story and a lot of things they are absolutely adorable. As I said, they are perfect for uh, shorter time projects. So we started from Halloween. Mm, definitely I will wait until the next year Halloween for this one. But let's try to find, do we have something for Christmas? Or oh, maybe even this one. Quite nice. And look at all those adorable details. A lot of nice flowers around, many cute things in the interior of the rooms, oh, like we have here, this picnic, very nice. Of course, I would prefer to have slightly thicker paper and, well, 
paper similar to Bifographic series. This one is well, I don't what to compare it. It's slightly thinner comparing to Creative Heaven, but good thing that mostly here we have pictures for pencils. For pencils, this paper will be definitely good. You know that I love to color cauldrons, so maybe uh, my first page here definitely will be with one of the cauldrons. Here we even have some hint to Harry Potter, or they have maybe some, some similar game where they are dressed in similar way. Oh, finally, picture for Christmas. That's what I need for December. Look at this one. They have some coffee with marshmallow, probably cakes, and all the beautiful decoration from the witch cafe. Really very nice. And they started to dress for the night, also quite adorable. Another perfect Christmas page. I definitely will select something for December. And they started to wrap gifts for the evening. This one you can color in December, you can color it in January, in February. Here spring starts. The dresses, they are so cute. Especially their boots. <laughs> Adorable. Oh, and they went to travel. Oh, look at this one. You know that I love to color all those. Um, everything related to gardening. So this one definitely will be one of my first pictures to do. Oh, here they have chickens. This hand is so cute. look at this sign train turned into cat I would love to do page with such train very nice here the are beekeepers another college page it reminds me a little bit about paper dolls which I did when I was a child when you do paper dolls then you cut some clothes and put on the doll. It was quite fun and it was one of my favorite games when I was small. Look at this beauty. So nice. You just need to create the rest of the frame and then it will be quite easy to finish this background. All those bottles, you can imagine what portions they had prepared and what they are trying to sell. And cauldron again. Very nice. So here started the harvest season. Oh, another one very interesting when they gather various things for potions. A lot of books and magical amulets. This is terrible light. I don't know how to um, lay it flat. Anyway, that was all for this book. As I said, I would definitely prefer it on thicker paper, but I'm sure that with my pencils I will manage to do many nice pictures. And I definitely will follow this artist because his skills her skills, maybe, probably from the style, so her skills, they are great and I do love uh, general look of the book, so it's very pleasant to look at and to touch. I hope that in December we will start it and I will do my first page here. Thank you and until the next videos.